Hey, you guys. Who's the first person to log in today? I can't wait to see who it is. <clears throat> Shubra Parikh, come on down. Hey, Carter. Savannah, how you doing? Naomi, Elliot, Joshua, thanks for logging in, you guys. Um, and let's see who else is here. Somebody from Stony Brook, Saranji from Stony Brook, and uh, Ava, Chase, and uh, Emma in Cornwall, and uh, Max from Canada. Love to see when Canadians come over. Bennett from New Jersey. Henry, hi Henry, Mackenzie, Lucas, Sasha, thank you for logging in today, coming in. Thanks for the uh, compliment about my t-shirt, Susie. <laughs> Got this from a school I visited. Uh, Sam from uh, Altamont again. I remember Altamont. Evan and Andrew and David. And I'm in a different location today, by the way, uh, because uh, my wife uh, needed to use the living, the living room because she's taking a class at Columbia University and uh, she's doing it online. So she needed a living room. So I'm in somebody else's apartment today. Okay, who else is here? A lot of you. Oh, uh, Travis and Austina and Alex. Emma, Maddie from Colonial Road School. Hi. That Yes, that is my real name, Sharon. Who would make up the name Gutman? <laughs> Addison and Kira and Finn and Emma and Zachary. Thanks for coming in, you all you guys. We'll get started in, um, in how many minutes? In uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Uh, Jordan uh, and Zachary and Teddy from Maryland. Hi. Okay, who else is here? Uh, Lily and Wells from McDonough, Georgia. Hi. And, and uh, uh, oh, there's just so many people. I can't count you all. I can't. Your, your comments are scrolling by so fast I can't even read them fast. So Joseph is here. And, and Bella, Joey, and Grayson. And uh, let's see, who else? Thomas in Indiana. Hi, Thomas. And Nick uh, and Owen. And uh, Mount Prospect, uh, Colton, and, and Aria. And... Brielle and Bryn, hi. And uh, there are so many people. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. We're going to have so much fun today. And um, uh, we'll get started in a few minutes. <clears throat> so excited. Okay, Brendan and Kira. <clears throat> Matt. And uh, let's see. Somebody's uh, just finishing the Genius Files. Thanks. By the way, this isn't. My Weird School isn't the only thing that I write. I, I write other books for older kids. And if you go to my website, uh, you can check them out. It's just uh, www.dangutman.com. But we're going to do My Weird School on these My Weird Read Alouds. Two minutes, you guys. We'll get started. Uh, Mary and David in Charleston, South Carolina. <clears throat> and uh, Sam and Joe Ozma in Minnesota. And somebody in uh, Bronte and, and Berkeley in San Antonio. So many people. I love it. South Mason from South Carolina. Hi to you, Mason. Uh, once I start reading, by the way, I, I, can't, I can't look at your comments. I, I look at them later after the whole thing is over. And you can look at them later, too, actually. Okay. Ooh, one minute to go, you guys. Ooh, I'm so excited. <sighs> I'm pumped. <laughs> I hope you guys are excited as I am about this thing, because it's really fun for me. Okay, should be about uh, <clears throat> 30 seconds. Okay. Hi, Claire, in Connecticut. 159, okay. All right. <sighs> One fifty nine point what? I'm just watching the clock in the corner of my screen. It's go time! Hi everybody, Dan Gutman here. Um, nice to see you again. I'm the author of the Modern School series. Uh, I'm so glad all of you came in today already, and. Um, Welcome back, and if you missed, by the way, if you missed any of the previous uh, 
read-alouds that I've done, you can, they're all here on my Facebook fan page. You can read them anytime. It doesn't have to be live. You can read them anytime. But I'm glad that those of you who are here now are watching me live. And uh, this week, we're in the middle of uh, my book, uh, Dr. Floss is the Boss, okay? And uh, Dr. Floss, as you all know, is a dentist. And uh, Dr. Floss wants a new car. So she's telling all the kids that they should not brush their teeth and they shouldn't floss. They should just eat lots of junk food and sugary sodas so that they'll get lots of cavities and then she'll get lots of business and she'll be able to buy a new car, okay? And yesterday, uh, in the chapters that we were reading, we met uh, the superhero Captain Plaque and her trusty dog Tartar, and she had a big battle against Fluoride, two superheroes battling each other. And we also met um, the Tooth Fairy, yes, uh, who, who turned out to be Mr. Klutz in a wig. So today we're going to start with chapter 7, which is titled... Open wide and say, ah. Okay, you guys ready? Gather around the old computer or tablet or big screen TV or smartphone or whatever it is you're watching me on, and I'll start chapter seven. <clears throat> National Dessert Day was winding down. It was almost time for dismissal. Okay, finally, we can get some work done, said Mr. Cooper. Turn to page 23 in your math books. And you'll never believe who poked her head into the door at that moment. Nobody. If you poked your head into a door, you might chip a tooth and it would hurt. Didn't we go over that in chapter three? But you'll never believe who poked her head into the doorway. It was Dr. Floss, of course. Is it tooth hurdy yet, she asked. I mean, 2.30? Mr. Cooper rubbed his forehead. I have more free stuff to give away, Dr. Floss announced. Yay, everybody shouted, because everybody loves getting free stuff, even though our parents pay for everything anyway. I figured that Dr. Floss would be giving out free skateboards or footballs or something cool like that, but instead, she passed out toothbrushes. Bummer in the summer. She also passed out these teeny tiny tubes of toothpaste. Teeny tiny tubes of toothpaste. I guess they're for brushing teeny tiny teeth. And here's a picture. That's one of Jim's pictures. These are just souvenirs, Dr. Floss told us. Don't brush your teeth with them. Remember, if you brush your teeth, you won't get cavities. And if you don't get cavities, you won't need me. And if you don't need me, I won't be able to buy a new car. You're just joking about that, right? Asked Andrea. You really want us to brush our teeth, don't you? That's for me to know and you to find out, Dr. Floss replied. But. Wasn't National Dessert Day fun? Yes, shouted all the girls. No, shouted all the boys. There's just one more thing I need to kids leave for the day, she told us. What? Look in your mouth, she said. I can't look in my mouth, I said. It's part of my head. No, I mean, I need to look in your mouth, said Dr. Floss. Oh, that's different. Dr. Floss had us all line up. She gave each of us a little tablet to chew on. She said the tablets had vegetable dye in them, so she would be able to see if we have a lot of plaque on our teeth. I hope you kids have lots of plaque and some nice cavities, Dr. Floss said as she passed out the tablets. If you do, I may ask you to come to my office after school today. Tell your moms and dads to bring their checkbooks and credit cards because it's going to cost them a lot of money. New cars are expensive, you know. And here's a picture of everybody lining up to get examined by Dr. Floss. You can see Andrea's in front, of course, and AJ's in the back. Andrea loves going to the dentist. I chewed the tablet. 
It tasted kind of bitter. I've never had a cavity, <laughs> bragged Andrea, who has to be the best at everything all the time. Dr. Floss said Andrea could go first. Open wide and say, ah, ah, said Andrea. Dr. Floss took a little flashlight out of her pocket and looked around in Andrea's mouth with a stick that had a little mirror on the end. You have a lovely mouth, Andrea, she said. No cavities in there, darn it. I knew it, said Andrea. Dr. Floss gave her a lollipop. If you eat enough lollipops, Dr. Floss told Andrea, you'll get a mouth full of cavities. No fair, I wanted a lollipop. Next, it was Ryan's turn. Dr. Floss looked in his mouth with a little, the little mirror. Ah, uh, you have a beautiful smile, Ryan, she said, and gave him a lollipop too. Thank you, Ryan said. Next, it was Neil's turn. Dr. Floss looked in his mouth. Then she took out her wallet and pulled out a dollar. Here's a dollar, she told Neil as she handed him the bill and the lollipop. Thanks, Neil said, but why are you giving me a dollar? Because you have buck teeth, said Dr. Floss. Get it? Buck teeth? A dollar? That's a dental joke. Everybody laughed, even though she didn't say anything funny. Next, it was Alexia's turn. Dr. Floss looked in her mouth. Ah, uh, clean as a whistle. No cavities, Dr. Floss said as she handed Alexia a lollipop. Those lollipops look good. Next, it was Michael's turn. Dr. Floss looked in his mouth. Ah, uh, no cavities here, darn it said Dr. Floss as she gave him a lollipop. You kids need to eat more candy and junk food. You don't have any cavities. It looks like I won't be able to buy a new car after all. After a million hundred minutes, finally, it was my turn. Dr. Floss looked in my mouth. Ah, uh, I said. And here's a picture of Dr. Floss examining AJ. Hmm, said Dr. Floss. Hmm, what does hmm mean? I don't like the sound of hmm. Hmm is a terrible word. What is it? I asked as Dr. Floss looked inside my mouth. Hmm, said Dr. Floss again. Ryan was looking at me. Michael was looking at me. Andrea was looking at me. Everybody was looking at me. Nobody was saying anything. It was so quiet, you could hear a pin drop. That is, if anybody had pins with them. But why would you bring pins to school? That would be weird. AJ, Dr. Floss finally said, can you ask your mom or dad to bring you to my office after school today? She handed me a business card. No! I shouted, I don't want to die. Don't be silly, said Dr. Floss. I just want to examine your teeth a little more carefully. Well, okay, I agreed reluctantly. Can I have a lollipop? I think you've had too many lollipops already, AJ, said Dr. Floss. It wasn't fair. I was going to die and I didn't even get a lollipop. This was the worst day of my life. Well, that's chapter, uh, Seven. Do you guys want to hear chapter eight? What's the magic word? <laughs> okay, okay. Chapter eight, here it comes. Which is titled, <clears throat> Good News and Bad News. Uh-oh, you know what that means. When my mom picked me up after school, I gave her the business card and told her what Dr. Floss said. This could be an emergency, my mom said as she hit the gas. Let's go to her office right now. This was the worst thing to happen since TV turnoff week. I wanted to go to Antarctica and live with the penguins.
I'll bet a million hundred dollars that penguins never have to go to the dentist. But I'm no dummy. I reached into the back seat of the car and put on my football helmet. Here's a picture of AJ in the car on the way to Dr. Floss's office. AJ, why are you wearing your football helmet? Mom asked me. The dentist won't be able to get into your mouth with that face guard in the way. Exactly, I said. It didn't take long to drive to Dr. Floss's office. Mom made me leave my football helmet in the car. That's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. When we walked into the waiting room, there was a bowl of candy on the table and a bunch of cool toys and a video game system hooked up to a big screen TV. It was paradise. This place is cool, I told my mom. Can I live here? Mom said I could play a video game while she talked with the receptionist. I told her to take all the time she needed. I was about to press start, the start button, when... Dr. Floss will see you now, AJ, said the receptionist. Bummer in the summer. I'll be right here waiting for you, my mother told me. Come in with me, Mom, I said. I'm scared. You're a big boy, she replied. I'll be right here when you're done. The receptionist walked me down a long hallway. I felt like one of those prisoners being taken to jail. Finally, we got to a little room. Dr. Floss was in there. Hi, AJ, she said cheerfully. It's nice to see you again. I looked around the room. It was scary. There was a dentist chair with a big light hanging over it and all kinds of dentist tools. Then I looked at the windowsill. There were a bunch of pliers lined up there. And here's a picture. Look at the, the pliers on the, on the windowsill. Also, look, in the, uh, look around very carefully. See that thing on the floor? Okay. <clears throat> ah! I shouted. There's a siren outside. Ah! I shouted. Is that what you use to pull out people's teeth? Oh no, that's my collection of antique pliers, Dr. Floss said. Remember this morning I told you that I collect old tools? Oh yeah. I looked around the office some more. In the corner, leaning against the wall, was a giant jackhammer. See the giant jackhammer? <laughs> ah! I shouted. I thought I was going to die. Is that what you use to drill people's teeth? Of course not, said Dr. Floss. Remember this morning I told you that I like doing road work? I thought that meant you like to go jogging. No, silly, she told me. In my spare time, I work on the roads. That's weird. Well, at least she wasn't going to stick that thing in my mouth. Take a look at this, AJ, she said, holding up a set of teeth and gums. Then suddenly the teeth started chattering. Cool, I said. What do you call that? My last patient, replied Dr. Floss. Ah! I shouted. Just kidding, said Dr. Floss. You're so jumpy, AJ. I don't like going to the dentist, I admitted. There's nothing to be afraid of, she told me. Here, sit in the chair. It's really comfortable. I sat in the big chair, and it was comfortable. That's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. Dr. Floss pulled a seat belt across my waist and clicked it shut. Ah! I shouted. What are you doing? You should always wear your seat belt, she told me. That's in a car. I shouted. Mom, help, get me out of here. Just relax, AJ, Dr. Floss told me. It was probably a soundproof room. That way the parents in the waiting room can't hear Dr. Floss torturing kids. She pushed a secret button to lean the chair back. I was looking at the ceiling now. 
and you'll never guess in a million hundred years what Dr. Floss had up on the ceiling. It was a TV screen. Cool. There was some cartoon playing on the TV. Dr. Floss put on a pair of rubber gloves. Ah! I shouted, not the gloves. In the movies, bad guys always put on gloves before they steal something or murder somebody. That way, they don't leave fingerprints behind. Shh, she said, sticking the big light in my face. You just watch the cartoon while I look inside your mouth, AJ. Open wide. No, I said. And here's a picture. AJ saying, no, I'm not going to open my mouth. AJ, I can't work on your teeth if you don't open your mouth. I know, I told her. That's why I'm not opening it. Don't be a baby, AJ. You probably just have one tiny cavity. Open up. No. If I didn't open my mouth, Dr. Floss couldn't look inside it. And if she couldn't look inside it, she couldn't examine me. And if she couldn't examine me, she wouldn't know for sure if I had a cavity. And if she didn't know for sure if I had a cavity, she couldn't drill my teeth. So I wasn't going to open my mouth. Here, she said, handing me a rubber ball. Squeeze this stress ball. It will help you relax. I squeezed the stress ball, but felt just as much stress as I did before. I kept my mouth shut and my arms crossed in front of my chest. When you cross your arms in front of your chest, it means you're not going to do what somebody wants you to do. That's the first rule of being a kid. Well, said Dr. Floss with a sigh, I guess I'm just going to have to pull out all your teeth just to be on the safe side. What? While I was saying what, Dr. Floss grabbed my upper and lower teeth and pulled them apart. <laughs> Dr. Floss is the boss, she said, peering into my mouth. Say, ah. Ah, I said. Dr. Floss whistled while she looked around inside my mouth. What kind of car are you going to buy, I asked. I asked. Oh, it depends, she replied. If you have a lot of cavities, I'll buy a limousine. But if you only have one tiny I'll probably get a little, hmm, hmm, not, not home again. That can't be good. What do you see? What do you see? I asked. Not enough, replied Dr. Floss. I'm going to have to shoot an x-ray to help me see better. What's that? I asked. It's a picture of your tooth, she told me. I call them Toothpicks. Get it? Toothpicks. Toothpicks. That's a little dental joke. I didn't laugh. Her jokes were terrible. Dr. Floss took something out of a drawer. Here, she said, bite down on this cookie. Cookies? I love cookies. I opened my mouth and bit down. It wasn't a cookie. It was some yucky plastic thing. I thought I was going to throw up. Just keep biting down, Dr. Floss told me. Sit still. I'll be in the next room for a moment. Are x-rays dangerous? I mumbled, keeping nothing in my mouth. There's nothing to worry about, she said as she left the room. X-rays are harmless. Then why are you hiding in the next room? I mumbled. Dr. Floss didn't answer. There was a little beep, and she came back and took the plastic thing out of my mouth. Then she put it in a machine for a few minutes. The machine must have developed the x-ray because she put it on a box with a light on it, and I could see a picture of my teeth. Dr. Floss looked at it for like a million hundred seconds. AJ, she finally said, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh-oh. Any time a grown-up tells you they have good news and bad news, the news is always bad. That's the first rule of being a grown-up.
What's the good news, I asked. I'm not going to tell you. What? Okay, okay, I'll tell you, Dr. Floss said. But you have to read the next chapter. So na 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 boo boo on you. Hey, I thought I was supposed to say that. How did she know there were chapters? Well, folks, that was chapter eight. And let's say we're going to read chapter nine tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And <laughs> chapter nine is titled Swish and Spit. So that's going to be the thrilling con conclusion of Dr. Floss is the Boss tomorrow. And also tomorrow we're going to have a little surprise and I'm going to tell you how I got the idea for this book as well. So I've had a great time today. I hope you have too. Uh, read like crazy. Uh, wash your hands like crazy. And I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay? Bye for now.